Hi guys, so I've been in um, envelope and tag making mode and because I've run out of everything for journals and I really hate making like one tag or pocket at a time for one journal. So I thought I'll make some um, fabric covered envelopes, which I have done in previous journals, you would have seen. But um, I was watching Pink Poodle Crafts the other day and she made some kind of boho style envelopes and she used some sheer fabrics and I thought well I've got heaps of scraps of sheer fabrics and kind of they're not all boho but some are anyway I thought oh I'll just make some of those as well while I'm at it so um I've made a few already and I thought I'll just show she made hers a little different I think she made you know proper envelope ones but I'm all about <laughs> quick and easy um, because I want to make a whole bunch so what I've done I'll show you a few first so it's just music paper with some sheer fabric on top stitched and I've made mine simple just a you know two folds that's it get into them nice and easy so that's some pink sheer fabric with some little scraps that's another one it's with some nice yellow sheer fabric and they feel really nice I've always loved um you know fabric covered paper just with some little scraps and I had a little tiny little bit of sequin trim there that I just popped on top So as you can see, they're super simple, really easy. They're not, um, I haven't overly embellished. I, I didn't want to spend a lot of time because I, I really want to get some journals made. This one's nice. It's really, um, that's like raised stitching. Actually, I've got a little scrap here. That's off this piece. Really pretty. I only had a strip about that long that I've been slowly over time chopping down. This one, um, yeah, it was two separate pieces. So, piece of yellow, piece of pink. So, I've just used two separate and stitched them together. A little flower on top, isn't that pretty? Actually, I quite like the, um, the ones using the little tiny scraps that are too small to fit on because... I like how it gives two different colours. That's another one. I think it's really pretty with the music paper. The fabric covered pockets I've always made, um, I always use, you know when you find book pages or stuff like that, that the image is really ugly. So things like gardening books, especially when you get to the um, section on pests and in, um, insecticides and... Um, all that sort of stuff, weeds, they're, they're always really ugly pictures, composting and stuff like that. So they're the type of pages that I would typically cover in an opaque fabric so you can't see through. And I would always make those the centre pocket of a signature. But um, yeah, I thought it was nice how she used um, music paper under the sheer fabric. I think it looks really pretty. I especially like the yellow because you can really see it but you can still see um this this sheer fabric was really crinkly like you know crepe paper and i like that you can still see all the little crinkles this one this was some trim actually that um one of the girls in the junk journal down under facebook group had sent me in a in a rack um i think it was andrea was actually <laughs> an old blouse that I had from like years and years and years ago it was like tiny it wouldn't I wouldn't even fit one arm in it now so I decided to chop it up and because it was all different colors I think it looks really nice um kind of looks painted 
And then I, I just use all the teeny little scraps. And this one I've popped a button there just because it looked a bit bare. This guy, this was really nice fabric, but whenever I use it, I, I just don't like it. <laughs> like the whole piece of fabric is really beautiful, but um, I just don't like it once it's used. I don't know. It kind of looks, um, I don't know, I feel once it's used, it always looks dirty. Maybe it's because of the colour, and I don't mind things looking dirty, but... Yeah, this one, uh, I don't know. I'm not fussed on it. I mean, the fabric piece is beautiful, but... And when you um, use it, when you bend it, the little uh, threads snap as well. Because it's, it's quite old and fragile, this piece of fabric. So I don't mind those little bits. See how they're all like that? I do like how it does that. See how they're all like up and stringy and fluffy I do like that and it does feel really nice I just don't like the look of the gold I don't know maybe it's too over the top I tried to put that there to tone down the gold but it still needs something maybe I don't know maybe a little coin or something do I have a coin? Butterfly? No. Anyway, I'll find something. Anyway, so I thought I'll just quickly show you how I made them. I mean, you can probably see how I made them, but I'll just do a couple super quick. Let me put the little ugly guy on the bottom. So you can go as fancy as, as you want. I'm just going to do really super basic because I just want to make a whole big bundle <laughs> to have a side ready to use so I've been using uh, this music paper because the book is glued and see how it just comes apart you can snap it apart so I just take a big wad like this and then I've actually trimmed the top and the bottom off because there's a fair bit of white space and I also just trimmed slightly on one side just to get rid of the uh, gluey edge. Oops. And I have not measured. I don't measure. I just do it. <laughs> so I've taken each little piece and I, I kind of do it like a production line. So I do all of one thing first. So I don't cut fold sew embellish kind of thing i'll fold a whole bunch in one hit sew a whole bunch in one hit and then embellish them in one hit so i just pretty much folded folded and i didn't measure so you'll see all of mine the envelopes look the same size but they're not see this one's slightly smaller and oh those two were quite even actually Actually, <laughs> they're quite the same. Oh my gosh. Sorry, that's like my Tweety Bird out the window screaming. So noisy. Oh, look. My estimating is so good. Look at that. They're almost identical. Okay. Don't measure. I don't measure. It looks like I did, but I didn't. I just pretty much get a page, fold, fold, make a whole page, um, a whole pile. I don't care if some are upside down. Actually, I should have checked. Yes, yeah, see, this one is upside down. So is this one. But anyway, once it's covered with fabric, you can't tell what's upside down or not anyway. Okay, so I fold a whole bunch of those. Then I just glue my fabric down. And I've got a little piece here cut up already. Look at this one. I love purple. This has got little, um, they're not diamond monties, they're like little silver thread. I don't know, are they flowers? I'm too blind, I can't see. Anyway, it's got little silver bits on it, and then I just glue it down. Now, Pink Poodle Craft, she used a glue stick to just tack it down, 
um, I usually use just some, like a craft glue, one that's acetone based because it dries really super duper quick. But she used a glue stick to just tack it down before she sewed it, which is what I would normally do, except I wouldn't use a glue stick. Um, I found the glue sticks I've got didn't really hold the paper while I sewed it except for one this one which was of course the one that ran out <laughs> so for all of these ones I've just been using this glue pen and I found it actually works really good I asked hubby when he was out one day to grab me a glue stick and this is what he brought back he's so funny you can tell he's so non-crafty. Anyway, it reminds me of one of those kids' ones. It's got like a little sponge on top. And it's actually come in handy. I um, It's really good when, you know when you want to collage a whole bunch of stuff really super quick? You just, over the page, let me show you. Um, but it takes a bit too long to dry. And I think that's because it comes out so quick. Anyway, see how it comes out really quick without even squeezing the tube? And so it takes forever to dry and sometimes I have to smear it because it just globs so much. Anyway, this one I found the easiest and quickest to do this because I can make these things super fast. Anyway, so just put your fabric down. It would help if I covered the page. Let me get that off. Did I not cut it big enough? Yes, I did. And I don't smooth it out because I actually want like some wrinkles like this. I want wrinkling because I want it to look like fabric on paper. Does that make sense? And this glue stick is really good. See how... Some of the glue comes through because it's sheer. When it dries, like, you can't tell anyway. You know, you can't, um, you can't see it. Plus, once it's dry, you can kind of, um, if there is a bit that's too stuck down and you can tell, you can actually just, you know, go like that and move the fabric and it'll pull off the paper anyway so it doesn't look stuck stuck anyway so what i'll then do is i'll glue a whole bunch of these and i'll have a big pile like this chuck them aside to um dry then when it's dry so this is one that uh, i've stuck down it's already dry so you can't really see the glue It dries pretty good. Then I will just stitch around the entire corner. So it's up to you how you want to do it here. You can actually fold your envelope, um, trim it, fold it, and then stitch the edges down. But I must say I'm about super quick and I didn't do that because it would mean two sets of different <laughs> stitching. So... I want to put stitching along here just to give the envelope, um, you know, make it a bit more sturdy. Otherwise, I, I don't want this bit to rip. So, because you're pulling stuff in and out. And I, I just think it looks nicer if it's sewn there as well. So, you can just take it, fold it like this and sew around there. But it means if you want to sew this bit, you'll have to... Sew that flap first, chop your thread, fold it, and then sew around there, which I can't be bothered doing. So <laughs> I do the easy option, and because um, maybe if I was making one envelope, I would do that. But since I always make so many in one hit, I do the easy option. I have all of my pages with the fabric glued like this, and I'll just sew, 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 sew all of them. Then I will, oops, I should have had my glue ready. 
Then when I've got a big pile of these, I'll just trim it. Actually, I should have had one trimmed, shouldn't I? Because, okay, it won't take me long. Sorry, I should have had one trimmed ready to go. You know, like in the cooking shows, they have um, something ready every step of the way. Actually, I always wondered, those cooking shows, do they um, let the staff eat everything? Because they must waste so much food. Especially like MasterChef, where everyone's cooking. Okay, these little scrappy bits, the little oddsy pods, keep them. Chuck them aside. Um, I don't try and be neat and tidy when I cut it. See how my edges, there's some little bits. It's a bit raggedy. Bit of overhang. You can be perfect if you want. I don't want to be. I want it to actually look a bit scrappy. And then, because I'm doing so many in a row, I will actually just glue those two bits together. I will glue that flap together. And I'm just using a bit of tacky glue. I know, it's kind of cheating, isn't it? <laughs> but um, that's how I find I can just do them so much quicker. And I just don't want to be bothered sewing this, then folding and sewing the rest. Oh, yay, it's raining. Finally, we've had some cool weather here in Sydney. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and hello, Fiona. I met uh, Fiona. She's one of the girls down in the Junk Journals Down Under group last night. And, um, yeah, she just lives like three, four minutes down the road to me. It's like a three-minute drive. I couldn't walk because it's like up a big hill and now I'm too fat and lazy to walk. But anyway, see, isn't it cute? This one, actually, I had two strips of fabric. This coloured one and this yellow one. So my stitching, it turned out that my stitching line was across here because I also do a stitch where the fabrics join so then I will stitch all of them glue all of them and when I've got a big pile like this ready to go then I'll embellish them if they need um this one the flap is quite nice I might leave it like that I quite like it like that but I don't like the joining stitch mark there I don't mind the joining stitch mark on the back I think it looks nice but I don't like it on the front so um, what can I put on this I, I kind of think I might cover that little bit I know I should have had something ready shouldn't I <clears throat> what's this little guy nope Oh, actually, I've got some organza here. I might, um, actually, I've got everything. If you saw my sewing table, like to the left, um, you would die. I'm going to have to do a craft room tour one day. <laughs> but it's not like your normal craft room tour. It's like a junkyard. Even though it's neat now, except my sewing desk. And my working desk. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to just... Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have stitched that on before I glued it shut. Anyway, I'll do that off camera. I'm just going to twist some organza. And I'm going to glue it there. I'll probably just um, stitch a line through it so it stays twisted like that. Anyway, I'll do one more where I show you the half-half fabric. Sorry, I know this is the worst tutorial you're ever going to see. So I had a little scrap of purple left. Hold on, that's going to be the top flap. And 
They're too little. Look at all these little oddy pods. I was thinking I was going to use pink, but that's this bit's too this was off the same shirt. This was actually a shirt I cut up. But this was I think the collar or a cuff or something, and it's too thick, I can't see through it. So I might Oh, actually I'll use that one. I love when I can use up these little uh scrappy bits. This is the worst glue pen, Darren. Actually, it's come in handy. I've, I've used it quite a lot and I'll probably buy another one now. <laughs> oh, wait. I'll put the yellow down first. Oh, gosh. Do you know, my like whole room is covered in these little teeny little bits of fabric everywhere. Oh, can you hear the magpies singing? I love Whoops. Can we cut off for 25 minutes? I can't even remember what I was saying now. I think I was just saying that I love the magpies singing out the front. Okay. Anyway, what I did was I quickly stitched it off camera. And this one's still a little bit wet. And this guy... I had glued it but the glue was still wet so I had managed to um I managed to open it up and I've just stitched some pink and blue oh, now I've got glue all over my fingers I hate gluey fingers and I just stitched some um sorry pink and purple scraps which I just twirled together along there just to hide that join mark because it was on the front of the envelope so that guy I'm just going to trim and now I'll just re-glue him. <laughs> she let me trim the other. So that's how he'll look. Which I quite like that. Yeah, I'll leave this plain because I, I really like the blue and green together. And I just finished these little guys. Maybe I should have snipped them as well. You should see when I sew these, I'm like so speedy. I'll go full throttle. As you can see, look, I'm so, I'm not even straight. That's okay, they're junk journals. And why, oh why, is the sun coming out again? It was supposed to rain today. I was so happy before. Okay. Oops. Let me get that little guy off. So this is what I do. I just like, I would have a whole bunch of these little sheets like this. I'd snip them all and then I'd glue them all. And I, I trim them after I've sewn them because um, this sheer fabric is so um, like stretchy as well. And it moves about even if you've tacked it down with a bit of glue. See like here I've got a little bubble but I don't care like a little fold because it gathers over itself when you get towards the end. And I think um, Sue Freeman, you asked me once, why do I have so many scraps? And this is why, <laughs> because every time I make something, 
I make something using scraps, but then my bigger scraps like these become littler scraps and then those little scraps will get used and get littler and littler until I've got the teeny tiniest piece of um, scrap that I will still use. Okay, let me glue this baby down. I also still have not learnt less is more when it comes to glue. I still can't help but like pile it on. See, I always ooze out the sides. I like the purple with the yellow. I'll snip that off when it dries. Yeah, um, Pink Poodle Crafts, it, it looks like she's been around for a long time and her, her channel seems to be quite popular. She's got quite a few subbies in that and, oh my goodness, the birds. <laughs> They're so noisy. But yeah, I hadn't come across her channel until recently. And um, so I haven't watched a lot of videos yet. But the few I've watched, oh, I just love her. She's so creative and um, she steps you through. She's so orderly and like a great little teacher. <laughs> Not like me. I'm all over the place. But yeah, she's um, really creative. I haven't watched too many channels, just uh, too many videos of hers. Just a couple. But I really, really love what I've watched so far. And isn't that funny that there's like a big channel out there that you just don't know about until... I can't remember even how I stumbled across her channel um, the other week. Yeah, I really don't remember, but um, I'm glad I did. And what a cute name, Pink Poodle Crafts. I'm going to put the link to her channel um, in the comments box below. I'm sure a lot of you probably know her because you've been around YouTube for a while. But, um, but for those of you who don't, I'll put her link there. Okay, this guy I'm going to call done. Yeah, I'll put her link there and head over and... um. Yeah. Check her channel out. She's she's got a lot of interesting videos from what I've seen, and um, yeah, like I said, I haven't watched many, but when I get some time, I will definitely do some more watching. Ooh, that's nice. Should have cut that in half. No. Nope. Ooh, I think I'm just going to put him down just as he is yeah if you're in Australia you can get this glue at Bunnings the only thing is when you buy it for some reason there's no hole there and you have to um put your own hole which kind of bugs me because my first bottle of this um I pierce the hole too thick and because it's acetone based, when it's hot, it kind of bubbles up and out. So now I've got a really thin hole because I like to use that for journal covers. But when you want to use it for something like this, there's hardly any that comes out. See, isn't that cute? I think you could stick boho fabric on anything and it'll look really pretty. I really do like that. Okay, that's that little guy. What am I going to put on this little purple guy? I think he's too purple. But I do like his little metal bits. And those lines, that's not glue. That's the actual, see, that's not stuck down. That's the crinkles in the fabric, which I love. Okay, what's going to go on this guy? 
I keep picking this piece up for everything, but um, I don't like him. He's too big. Purple and orange. I wish I had another piece of that. Red one. Okay, I'm not normally this indecisive when I'm doing this by myself. But now that the camera's on, I am. Actually, I don't think I'll layer it. I think I'm just going to go with green and purple because I really like green and purple. But then I kind of like this. What do you think? I feel like the green needs a layer under it, but this guy doesn't. I'm going to put this guy. Oh no, and this is another thing I do. I always leave the lid off. And then my teeny tiny little hole clogs up. And then I have to put a pin in it. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm still coughing and sniffing. Yeah, I'll just use that little guy. Okay. See, now look at all my little scraps that I need to now use again. I'm going to make some little maybe scrap tags again. Okay, so these are the finished little envelopes. Ah, look at all these little fluffy bits. And look at my poor cutting mat. He's dead, dead, dead. Okay, so this guy, I like the purple and yellow. So pretty. And this guy. a bit plain but cute and this ugly gold what am I going to do with this guy I don't know And that's it. So, um, yeah, I'll put the link to Pink Poodle Crafts channel down below. If you don't know her, go check her out. She's um, really creative from what I've seen so far. And I always like to go back to some older um, videos. So when I get some time, I'll be scrolling down and going back to the beginning. But aren't they pretty? I love that she put sheer on music paper. I think they look really nice. Anyway, so I'm going to make a whole bunch of these. And I'll probably make some ones that are a bit more embellished. I just wanted a few quick, simple ones for now. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.